have to piss. I really have to piss. I'm gonna have to pee so much this video. Hello guys, what's up? How are you all? Hope you're doing absolutely swell. I'm so excited for today's video. I mean, I'm excited for every video. Who am I kidding? But like this one I'm super excited for because this video is just gonna be me trying different coffee drinks. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be channeling my inner coffee critic and I will be trying some of San Francisco's world-renowned coffee drinks that they're famous for. I looked on Yelp and found three of the most iconic, famous, trendy coffee drinks that San Francisco has to offer. They all have something in common. They're all overpriced and I haven't tried any of them before in my life. I drink a shit ton of coffee. I consider myself a respectable coffee drinker. I think that I have the authority to judge these coffees respectably, respectively, res I don't Okay, do you know why am I using words that I don't know how to use? I've been trying to make my vocabulary better, but I just am starting to realize it's not gonna happen. It'll kind of make more sense once you see how fucking weird these drinks are. Okay, whatever. Do you know what you can't you guys get what's going on? For the first place that we're going to, we're going to a coffee place called Andy Town Coffee Roastery Roasters. I don't fucking know. Sorry, I'm a little bit confused. Hi. Aw. The drink that I'm gonna be getting from there is called the Snowy plover or some shit. Now this drink is famous because it's so fucking weird, but supposedly it tastes really good. Let me explain to you what this drink is. So this drink is basically sparkling water, a shot of espresso, brown sugar syrup, and their homemade famous whipped cream. And honestly, that sounds kind of gross to me. I don't quite understand that combination, but supposedly it's super In good. It's so famous. I've seen so many pictures of it online. Whenever I've ever been to this coffee shop, I've always seen other people drinking it. This is their most popular drink. It's like something that I feel like all coffee experts should have under their belt. From what I'm seeing on Yelp, people travel far and wide to get this specific coffee drink, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. Trying to drive, and there's a freaking roadblock in the way. A freaking roadblock! And I'm very frustrated right now. You know, I'm having to make a definite detour here. Oh, there's so many fucking dog running in the street. That is so bad. Well, I wasn't even close to hitting the dog. Thank God I would never forgive myself ever. I would literally die. That almost kind of happened because somebody let their fucking dog run loose in the literal middle of the street. I, uh, I'm literally reporting them to PETA because PETA, whatever, um, because I do not stand for that. That is so offensive. Absolutely appalling that somebody would ever let their small little fluffy puppy run in the fucking street. I am so upset right now. I cannot believe my eyes. I'm suing. <sighs> Sorry. 42nd Avenue. Shut up. Shit, I almost got hit by a bus. Why does this happen to me every time? I've done some wrong. Shut up, Siri. I know you're helping me. Shut up. Me, every time somebody tries to help me with a life problem and they have my best interests at heart, but I just shoot them down anyways. Aw, that's so cute. Finding parking around here is literally like harder than like finding a boyfriend for me. That's like, and that says a lot because like it's really hard for me to find a boyfriend because I'm so ugly. <laughs> I am so confused. It's good. No, it's not. The only good part about it is the whipped cream. The whipped cream is intensely good, super thick, but the actual drink itself tastes horrible. Bitter and sour. I'm feeling disappointed. I'd rate that drink a three out of 10 at most. It was not great. I was not a fan of it at all. I wanted to like it. Maybe my taste buds aren't intelligent enough for it or something. I don't know. I did not like it. I don't know why in the world they are famous for that drink because I've been to that exact coffee, Andy Town Coffee, before and gotten an iced almond milk latte and I can promise you that it was 100 million times better than that drink. First, let's talk flavor. Flavor was just not good. The base of it was just fucking weird. I don't know. I think the sparkling water kind of like threw me off a little bit because you know when like sparkling water has been sitting out for a really long time and it kind of starts to get that weird like carbonated flavor. That's like what that tasted like mixed with super bitter espresso mixed with really fucking good whipped cream. The reason why I could actually drink a little bit of it was because the whipped cream was fucking unbelievable. Like I could literally just eat that whipped cream like with a spoon for like the rest of my life. It was so good. Vanilla-y and just, oh, it's so good. Probably the best whipped cream I've ever tried. At least they have that going for them. I would overall give it a three out of 10 at most. I would give it like a one out of 10, but like the whipped cream was so good that I just like, whatever. I don't often kind of branch out with my coffee drinks and I usually stick to what I like, which is an iced almond milk latte. And I kind of am starting to realize why it's because everything else 
fucking sucks. You know when you taste something and you're like, I don't like that, but I can kind of understand why somebody else would? This, I can't even picture that. This is like, no, I don't even know how anybody would want, why anyone would like this. My stomach kind of feels weird now. Maybe it's because I'm so upset. So for our next drink, we're gonna be going to, I don't know where we're going, I have to look. Flywheel Coffee Roasters. Flywheel Coffee Roasters is famous for their siphon coffee. It's basically, I'll insert like a picture or video of like the machine that makes it. It's like this really weird, old fashioned like coffee vacuum. That's what they describe it as. It brews using like fire and like vacuum power and shit. I do not understand it whatsoever. I saw a video of it and I was just like, holy shit, like that is so dope, but like I don't understand it at all. I don't know the benefits of it, like how it tastes different than regular coffee. That was like never discussed and like I couldn't find anything, but I think the main reason why it's so dope is because the process of making it looks so fucking cool and I'm just like excited to see them make it. It's like six bucks though, which is like super expensive, but I'm not mad because it kind of makes sense. Like if you see that machine, like I bet those things are so expensive. Vacuum coffee maker, brew coffee using two chambers where vapor pressure and vacuum produced coffee that is completely over my head so I don't know hopefully it's good it is hot coffee and I am a huge fan of cold coffee I've done my iced coffee rant in a video before but I'll do it briefly now the window of drinkable temperature with a hot drink is so short it's either too hot too cold or a perfect place in the middle but it's only at that perfect place in the middle for like five minutes you either drink your entire coffee right then or you're fucking screwed an iced coffee on the other hand it's nice refreshing and it's at like a drinkable temperature for like 30 minutes and like the only problem is is when the ice melts but like it takes a long time for the ice to melt so like that's not as much of an issue also i think coffee tastes better cold i think that the notes are brought out better because i feel like your taste buds when the coffee is hot the coffee burns your tongue so you can't even taste the coffee half the time because your tongue fucking burnt. Iced coffee, you can actually taste the notes because your tongue isn't being scorched and your taste buds aren't being fucking destroyed. You can actually like enjoy the coffee drink and not be like, oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? But anyway, I have my own coffee from home here that's gonna cleanse my palate because that last drink was fucking upsetting. Can I have the siphon? Okay, so they give me this whole thing and then also some in the mug, which I think is really dope But they give you a really small amount. I think because I think it's really rich coffee I'm not really exactly sure but like look how dope this like science like freaking flask is Whoa good. It's just like black coffee though I feel like it just tastes like really good French press, but French press is like you could do that at home I don't know. I think it's good I, I don't know if it's worth like six dollars But I think that the experience is cool and it would make a good photo but I think that it's a little bit, it's a little bit much for what it is. But I think it's kind of cool. I think that the whole like experience is cool. And I think that that's what makes it worth the money. It's, it's like pretty smooth coffee though. I feel like it's like, it goes down easy, you know? I know I kind of talked while I was in there. So you kind of already got the gist, but like I wouldn't do it again, but I think I'm like glad that I did it. So I'd rate it like a six out of 10. It looked like I was watching like a chemistry experiment, experience, experiment, but I don't feel like it tasted so amazing or like so different than just like a regular cup of coffee that like, I don't know. And it also it was just black coffee. Like how good can just black coffee be? It didn't excite me, okay? It didn't excite me. Despite we are off to our next place. <laughs> Okay, so this last coffee place we're going to is called Ritual. I've been here before. It's actually one of my favorite coffee shops of my life. I, I really like it. I've never tried any of their specialty drinks. So one of Ritual's most famous drinks is a nitro... This is becoming a problem. Is their nitro cold brew, which is basically like nitrogen infused coffee. And I guess nitrogen makes it cold. So it's like kind of like iced coffee, but like without the ice. I don't really exactly know what it is. All I know is that it looks really cool and I heard it's really good. Nitrogen is an element, I think. And I'm pretty sure the atomic number is seven. Don't quote me on that. If I'm editing this and the atomic number isn't seven, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. But if it is, then I'm gonna feel like a fucking gangster. So we'll see. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I took chemistry last year, so suck my dick. I don't know how they infuse it. I don't know how the process works, but pretty sure it's really overpriced as well. So we're just really dropping the big bucks on coffee today, but it is what it is. Oh, shit. There's some people getting into a physical fight. Okay. That's so bad. Oh, no, no. 
that makes me so uncomfortable. Guys, break it up. <laughs> That's always disturbing, you know, watching other people just fight each other in the street. <laughs> just in the broad of daylight on a Monday. I mean, I don't know, just a little disturbing. That's their thing, okay? That's their thing, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna judge. What do you think they're fighting about, guys? What do you think? What do you think? Who's watching this right now, what do you think? I think that they were fighting. That was scary. Maybe they're fighting because one of them stole the other one's girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't judge. Maybe they're fighting because they didn't pay their rent on time. I don't know. Maybe they don't even have rent to pay. Maybe they live at home. Maybe they don't have a home. I'm sorry. This is kind of getting offensive. Oh my god. Oh, that uh, for a second I thought that that guy was literally snorting cocaine, but he was actually just playing the harmonica. Do you know what? I shouldn't judge. See, that's my own character flaw. I'm judging people. You know what? That guy was trying to play his harmonica in peace, and I'm just like judging him thinking that he's snorting cocaine. That is so rude of me. I should have never assumed that. I bet that guy would never do cocaine. Ever. I bet he's just playing the harmonica. I just scraped my wheels. That's karma. That's car I don't know what I did, but it's karma. I also just found parking so easily, and I'm so excited about it and it's also free parking but we're here now so let's go check it out do we still have the nitro cold wheel i'll have one of those Okay, just finished at Ritual. Sorry, I didn't, was too lazy to set up my camera for the last time, so really skimping y'all out today, but what can we do? Honestly, I was just disappointed again. Like, it just didn't float my boat. Like, it was fine. Like, it would be better with almond milk. I mean, I think the only cool part about it is that, like, it's cold without ice cubes in it because, like, the nitrogen makes it cold. Like, that's the only cool part about it. And it doesn't really taste that good. It just was honestly kind of sour. And, like, when my coffee's sour, I get fucking pissed. So now I just have a shit ton of caffeine in my blood and that's basically that. Um, but anyway, I tried. Hopefully the lighting isn't that bad because it's five o'clock and it's already, like, pitch blackout almost. Not really, but, like, kind of. So yeah, I'd rate the last one, like, a two out of ten because I'm just so like your route has been updated based restriction even though it didn't taste bad it was just so fucking boring and it was overpriced and I just like I don't know I just miss my iced almond milk lattes I think the main thing that I learned I just I can't drink anything but iced almond milk lattes this video I don't know it was kind of weird but it was a it was an adventure I hope you had fun I know I had a little bit of fun I hope you weren't bored if you were give it a thumbs up no just kidding but if you did enjoy it or for some reason you weren't bored give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment down below anything you want don't try any of these I mean yeah, don't. If you're gonna go to a coffee shop, get an iced almond milk latte and thank me later. Trendy doesn't mean tasty, and that is what we learned today. But anyway, love you all, appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. That was so embarrassing. That was so corny. I am so embarrassed. <laughs>